Good morning everybody, I'm Curtis and welcome back to my channel. Now in this video of Settlement Simulator, I'm going to be showing you how to use power properly. How to cable and wire properly, how to hide certain conductors, how to make it look tidy and not a mess. I'm also going to show you how to make a light switch and how to properly and efficiently power your settlement without having one big headache over it. Because it, it, it can be annoying. So, let's get started. This is going to be your generator room. Now, I've got it as 2x6 with metal walls all around it. Word to the wise, you're going to want to protect this. I've had a raider attack, they disrupted my generators, and it disabled certain traps in my settlement, etc, etc. So, you want to have this defended, not over the top, but you want it pretty, pretty well defended. So, let's put some generators down. Oh god, I just had the workshop menu. Okay, let's put some large generators down. So we're going to put six in here. And I'm going to show you a cool little trick with generators. And what we're going to do is uh, we're going to connect them up. So effectively, we're going to be getting 60 power. But if you only connect one generator to the pylon, you're only going to have 10 power. Because they only produce 10. But the cool trick that I'm going to show you is you can actually wire up all your generators. And then connect them to the pylon. And what that does is effectively makes one big generator of 60, 60 power. So you connect them all up like so. Come on. It can be a bit messy and annoying, but... There we go. So let's put a pylon down. Now, in my advanced video, I'm going to, because I'm going to do another video, I'm going to show you like an advanced video of how to do like switches and stuff properly. So here we go. If you're a bit unsure, just connect that one as well. And there you go. You've got 60 power going to that pylon. But yeah, in my advanced video, I'm going to show you how to do like switches and use the terminal because if you want to be like super cool and hipster, you can have uh, pylons and stuff set up in such a way that you can have the power go out at a certain time at night and etc. Or they come on only at night. It's pretty cool, but I'm going to do that in a separate video. So connect the pylon to the, to the first pylon that you got, wire it up, place it down closely, and then you can pick it up and move it like I'm doing now to get the max distance. And you can have this going all around like the outside of your base so it's not, you know, super messy and noticeable. So put that right by the house. Now I'm going to show you how to wire up your own house, but I'm also going to do it on this house first because this house is actually really awkward to wire up. So I thought if I show you how to do it on a hard house, then doing it on your own buildings is going to be an absolute piece of cake. So let's put some conduits down. Put them all around here. Now, another good tip is you can actually do this on the roof. So you can completely avoid having wires around the outside. But the reason I'm doing this is so you can learn how to do it inside as well at the same time. So I'm two birds, one stone. So let's connect these up just so I can show you. Now, you don't normally need this many uh, conduits at all, but the reason I've put so many down is, as you can see, look, you can't see the wires. They're not drooping. It's really tidy. So let's connect that up, and look at that. Nice and tidy. So plonk this one on the corner. It can be a bit of an annoyance. There we go. Right on the corner there. And continue around the building like so. But yeah, uh, this is two birds with one stone because effectively you can do this on the inside of your house. You know, put the wires through windows and gaps and such. But this, what what this is doing is uh, if you need it on the outside, like I said, the roof's the best idea. But if you need it on the outside or the inside, this is the best way. You're going to use a lot of copper, so be sure to farm copper and, st and steel. but uh, And ceramic, you need ceramic as well, sorry. But... Uh, what this does is, you know, you, like I said, you're going over the top with conduits, but you're not having wires drooping everywhere. No one likes wires. So these will be the last few now. Pop these down. I'm glad you guys are enjoying the, my video series so far as well. Like, you guys have shown overwhelming support. And all the people subscribing and stuff, like, I can't thank you guys enough. So I'm going to keep doing this. If you keep watching, I'll keep making so pop that one there. Now, this little trick is so you don't have one long wire droop into that pylon. So get yourself some stairs. Let's build a stairway to heaven. No, I'm just kidding. 
we're going to hell. Okay, so go up the stairs. Now we're going to be using a different pylon now. It's the uh, one that goes on the roof, so plonk that down. Oh, I'm not sure we can wire this from here. No. So, again, just like the pylons, move them close to each other. And then you can start judging where you want to move it next. So it looks like that's pretty much the only spot. That's fine, though. That's not an issue. So let's get some more down. Plonk that one right there. And plonk this one right there. Connect these bad boys up. And we're done. So go into the house and just go crazy. Start putting lights everywhere that you want. And as you can see, look, that's it. All powered. The way conduits uh, work is they power like an area of influence. Like, And I believe it's almost three wall spaces long. So what you can do with that is it's like an AOE sort of effect. That's why I said it's over the top having that many conduits, but it's less messy. But I'm going to show you on the roof and on my own structure, like how you would do it. So you put them there and that's going to affect the entire perimeter of this building. Obviously your buildings are going to look a bit better. This is just a quick building that I made. So connect that up. Wow, that storm sounds awesome. I like it. I like the rain. Right, so jump down. Let's go into the building. And let there be lights. Working. So... Now you're like, Curtis, but I want a light switch in my house. Not a problem. I've got you covered. However, you're going to build this properly, aren't you? This is not going to be some shitty makeshift build like what I'm doing. This is just for the demonstration of the video. You want to have like a proper little generator room. Now, this took ages to work out and I couldn't do it exactly how I wanted it because it... I, I, oh, God, it's just too annoying. But... Connect this to a switch. Right. Make a doorway as a window. And as you can see, look, I've been wiring on the inside of the house. Put another... Sh uh, I was about to say shift. Put another switch there. Turn it off. Make sure you turn it off. You don't have to turn it off, but I wanted to for this video. So, Right. Now, let's cover up this window. So, go to wood and miscellaneous. Oh, oh God. I suck at this. So pop that in. And that's that done. Now the way this works to have your own light switch is a switch has to be connected to the generator. However, if you want multiple switches to have a switch properly on the inside of your house, it doesn't work. Because the switch that needs to be there to go into the house ends up powering half the conduits in that area. As you can obviously tell by now, it's an absolute headache. But I'm still trying to figure it out. I'm confident I'm going to solve this. But for now... This will have to do. And it's a cool feature anyways. Everyone wants a light switch. But I am going to figure it out for you guys on how to get it properly inside your house. Don't even worry about that. So, come out build mode. As you can see, lights are off. And let there be light. Ta-da! Beautiful. Just beautiful. So, I hope this video helped you guys. It's pretty much only a basic power and guide. It's nothing too advanced. But I'm going to do an advanced video soon. But, like I said, hopefully you've learned, and now your settlements won't be so messy with wires and such everywhere. If you did enjoy this video, though, guys, please do subscribe, like, and share this video. It helps me out, and it helps more settlers and other dwellers out there get back into, like, the modern civilization and stop living in the Stone Age with no lights. But, yeah, hope you enjoyed it, guys. Uh, tomorrow there'll be another video, as always, and I'll see you then. Peace! Um, I went for a gritty look. Now, what made me do this is I was doing like a mega structure or I can't remember what I was building now. I've actually forgotten. But I started watching Dust Till Dawn. It's like one of my all-time favorite videos.